Do you suffer from migraine headaches? Have you tried everything and taken everything from over the counter relievers to prescription medications without much success? Well, you'll want to hear what our next guest has to say about a stimulating procedure. This is Dr. Ken Reed of Reed Migraine Center. He is here and he also brought along a patient and that is Joan Swanson. Good morning to the both of you. Good morning. Hi. Uh, let's talk about this uh, great procedure that relieves migraines. What is actually happening during the surgery? Well, in the procedure, it's an implantable unit we put in. There's a small battery, very similar to a pacemaker battery, and several very small, thin little plastic covered wires. During the procedure, we implant the battery right under the skin in the back and chest, and through a simple procedure, we pass the wires positions right under the skin and the forehead and back of the head. You cannot see it, you cannot feel it, um, doesn't limit you when it's turned on. You feel a mild tingling sensation that feels comfortable by several mechanisms. It greatly eases and it often nearly completely stops migraine headaches in patients that were long suffering. We've been doing it for over 20 years and have greater than an 80% success rate. Wow, that's, those are good numbers right there. Neurostimulant yeah. implant, how does this work after surgery? Explain exactly what's going well, on. Well, after surgery, it's actually very easy. Joan, here's a great example. She was suffering from terrible headaches, back and forth to the hospital and medicines. After surgery, you're not doing that. You're living life. Again, you cannot see this unit. You can exercise. And we see That animation here that uh, the uh, the procedure itself see, yeah, explain what we're seeing. that's what it seeing. shows exactly right here in the lower back here you see the very small battery under the skin our patient has transparent skin and then the little wires pass under the skin as we showed to the back of the head and front of the head to emphasize you cannot see any of this there are no scars it's very simple to put it in but the effects of it are quite dramatic yeah I love that so simple but dramatic results which we need when we're suffering from migraines so Joan, how long did you suffer from migraines? What's your story? I had migraines, terrible migraines, for over 30 years. A long time. Okay, so obviously you finally said enough is enough. Right. I need relief. I can't. My quality of life is affected at this point. For 30 right. years, you probably thought there was no option. How did you find Dr. Reed? Literally, my migraines had spun out of control, and everything that my neurologist had been trying, which were what he had available to him, were not working. The daily preventative medicines, we tried Botox, we tried nerve blocks, um, and finally, um, the last two years of my migraines, they had gotten so bad and so intense that they took on um, seizure and stroke episodes. Wow. So my neurologist said, I really think that it would be in your best interest to see what Dr. Reed had come up with and developed on this stimulator. Okay. So and anyway, you, to see if I was a candidate. And you did. I did. And what's life like now, Joan? Oh my gosh, you have <laughs> no idea. I have my life back and migraines no longer define me. They don't dictate what I can and I cannot do during a day. So. It brought the happy back in my life and in my husband's life. Well, I'm sure it affects you and it affects everybody around you as well. Dr. Reed, she's a perfect candidate for this procedure. Who else would be a good candidate? She is a perfect candidate for it. It's actually quite simple who's a candidate. Two criteria. The first are frequent headaches. We used to say 15 a month and more commonly now we'll say two or more headaches a week that are significant. And secondly, you've tried a good course of more conservative care. Okay. This is not the first step. It's a surgical procedure. It's only a conservative care, meaning medications do not work. Okay. Then we look to this. All right, and you have some webinars that are coming up to help people find out more information. Yes, we do. We have webinars twice a week on Tuesdays at noon and on Thursdays either at 6 in the evening or at noon, so whichever works best, but we go over a lot of information in each webinar. Dr. Reed, thanks so much for being here, and Joan, thank you for sharing your story with GMT viewers today. Again, for more information, log on to readmigraine.com or call this number, 972-707-2820.